So my defib sits in there, as you can see it's, um, and then there's a wire that runs across here and then up to the heart in case it ever needs to go off. So that's Tom Loki, a Luton Town captain, he's a footballer and in that video he's just describing his implantable defibrillator. So just a bit of backstory on what happened. In December 2023 he'd collapsed during a football match and suffered a cardiac arrest. Now a cardiac arrest and a heart attack are very different. In a cardiac arrest the heart is not pumping blood around the body anymore so whether because it's stopped or it's in a funny rhythm that's not able to sustain life. Whereas in a heart attack there's blockage of the blood supply to the heart itself so you get that characteristic pain because the heart muscle itself is being deprived of blood supply and oxygen. So the two are very different and in this case it was a cardiac arrest and because it happened during a football match it meant he had paramedics and medics right on the scene essentially within seconds and the way you treat someone who's had a cardiac arrest is that you try to manually keep the blood moving around the body by doing CPR or chest compressions and if it's in one of those funny rhythms you can also try and shock it back into a normal rhythm now in Tom's case it was, this was successful and interestingly from the articles that I've read it sounds like they know exactly what happened because before this he'd had atrial fibrillation which is an irregular heartbeat which is very common but doesn't usually cause cardiac arrest and in his case it'd be treated and sorted but interestingly they put in a device a recorder just in case it happens again it can record events any events or funny rhythms it can pick them up I read an article where he was describing that he was out for exactly 2 minutes and 40 seconds so he would have picked up any funny rhythm he was in during that time and I suspect his collapse was probably because of a shockable rhythm generally speaking is one off a ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia which is why in the treatment they've now fit him with an implantable defibrillator which is a smaller version of the defibrillator machine you might have seen in shopping malls for example and we do use those bigger ones as well during a cardiac arrest and as it clearly explains in that video the smaller one is put in under the skin and it's got wires that go to the heart and the idea is that it picks up any abnormal rhythm and it shocks the heart back into a normal rhythm straight away therefore stopping the person or preventing them from getting another cardiac arrest. And in the articles that I was reading, it sounds like it wasn't related to the atrial fibrillation it had in the past. And they weren't sure what exactly triggered this cardiac arrest this time around. In one of the articles I was reading, when he came round from the cardiac arrest, he described it as waking up from nothingness. We, which is a very scary thought, a bit a bit disconcerting actually. You might have seen other footballers have similar incidences. Christian Eriksson is one, Fabrice Mwamba is another, but his condition was a bit different. But it's really good to see that he was successfully treated and is well. Uh, but I think it's just taking some time away from football at the moment. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments below.